I know I haven't taken a lot of video today, but Alan and I have had a crazy busy day. Um, we went to church and then we went to go see our friend's uh, baby. He's so cute! And I'm so happy he's doing well because he was born with a, um, he was born with an issue where his heart was actually on the wrong side of his chest. And so we were, we were all very worried about him, but he's great. His heart works just fine and it's, it's awesome. But uh, this week I'm hoping to get the one done. Um, this series, like I just, I can't, I can't put it down. I tried to finish other things and I just can't. But I'm also, I'm hoping to do that, finish this. And then also uh, Foundry Side, which is an arc that I got from NetGalley, but I was specifically asked <laughs> to go, um, like if I wanted it, um, which is shocking because I didn't know that anybody at publishers knew who I was, but apparently somebody does. So that's all really exciting, but um, hopefully I can finish that this week as well, but it's like 400 and something pages, so it's a little intimidating. had an interesting day. Um, Alyssa pretty much broke my glasses, so that's why I don't have glasses on right now. Um, I could try and put them on. I think I may just have broken them further. But um, let's just see. Let's see. Okay, they don't, well, they don't look that bad. But we've had a long day today at work. We're training a new girl. Um, she's, she's great. I like her. But, um, last night I got about halfway through the one and, um, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna finish that tonight. <laughs> she's so chatty. Okay. I think I'm going to finish that and start, um, the air or some of the, or like a couple of the short stories tonight. Uh, we'll see, but overall today has been a busy day. Okay, so I can pretend like my glasses are fine. They look fine. But hopefully, if I'm just really protective of them, I can wear them until my new glasses come in. And I'm really excited about my new glasses. They'll have the, um, uh, or the lenses. Lenses. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> They'll have the lenses that'll make them um, filter out blue light from screens. And I don't know about you all, but I have an office job. So I look at screens literally all day, every day. So to have glasses that would filter that out and like help my eyes is great. I'm, I'm really excited about it. But that was also money that I wasn't expecting to spend this week. So <sighs> yeah, but oh, and can we talk about this red? Uh, okay, it's called a Shirley, but I know it's like a cardigan thing, kimono, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's from LuLaRoe. I volunteered, I mean, I paid for it, but I volunteered to get a mystery outfit because I can't, I can't style myself worth anything. And so the lady that the group I'm in, like when she promotes mystery, mystery outfits, I'm like, me, 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 like, help me, please. And that's about the only time I buy anything anymore if it's not half price, so. But it came with this and it's super cute and I love it. And like right now I'm wearing it with just like my lazy mom tank top and leggings, so. But it makes me look super cute and like I actually tried today. <laughs> and it came with a Carly, which is a dress and I have six of those now and I, I love them. 
like those Carly's are so comfortable and like I don't like dresses but I love the Carly's so LuLaRoe pushing me out of my comfort zone <laughs> so um but yeah Alyssa and I are just gonna run around for a little bit hopefully she'll feel a little bit better she woke up and I think her teeth are really bothering her so wanted to do a quick update my glasses are officially broken so I can't wear them anymore and I'm real sad about it but I didn't really read anything yesterday I just was not feeling it and I don't really want I'm not in the mood to read the arc I need to read but I mean I have to read it so but I'm at work and this is the this is the whole mystery outfit that I got so it's super cute but yeah, hopefully I'll see you all tonight and hopefully I'll remember to actually like vlog past like 5 p.m. Okay, well, good morning. It's Thursday and uh, I failed again to uh, vlog after work, but I mean, it wasn't really super interesting for you all though <laughs> because I, uh, <clears throat> I didn't read anything. I just, I'd like, I don't know what this week is, but I'm just in a slump and I think it's because I want to read the air and the selection stories and I'm not letting myself, but I don't want to read all of those and then have not have the crown. So I'm like, okay, just any day now. But, um, but no, I'm running polls on or I ran polls on Instagram right now, uh, last night, and I guess they're still running, but, um, it's between Dragonfly and Amber and Christine by Stephen King, and then between Fool's Assassin by Robin Hobb and, uh, Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know. No, the scores will be right here. Um, and I'll pick whichever one is the most popular tonight and I'll, I'll start that. I think I'm kind of in the mood to read like a giant book. So I picked some of the biggest books on my shelf and I know that Frida picked, um, Dragonfly and Amber and Winter, but I just like am not in the mood for winter right now. Not at all. Taking bookstagram pictures, which you can tell that I'm using a bunch of outfits for because all of my laundry's right there. And look at my cute little assistant. Are you helping? Yeah. So I literally ended up only um, taking like two pictures, I think, because I am just like not in the mood right now. <laughs> I got out all those clothes and I realized I have to wash like half of them, so. I'm just not really not really in the mood to do that so but Alyssa's just playing right now you can probably hear her toy but we're hanging out on the floor and just chilling and I'm uh, I'm trying to decide between the two winners so we've pretty much just had a lazy day all day today but uh, my mom is coming over soon my dad was over he's actually across the street at my grandparents house with Alyssa right now but um it's been a big help since Alan's at Bristol this weekend <laughs> and I'm exhausted. So, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I selected begrudgingly between the two that were the most popular and, uh, I'm going to trudge my way through Storm of Swords. So you may not get any like actual reading updates for a while. Did you just hear that? It hit my leg and it was like, Poof. it's so heavy. I'm not excited, but I need to finish the Game of Thrones books. Like I read the first two, I'm fairly dedicated. So I need to just finish them out. And then whenever George R. R. Martin decides to finish the last one, the last two, I think there's two left, then I'll feel a little bit better about reading them, but. Okay, so it's Friday and I'm exhausted. I don't know when Alan came back from Bristol. I can't honestly tell you because he was gone literally all night and I fell asleep at like 1230. So I'm sure he got home at like two. 
and he's headed back up there at noon. Like, there's something wrong with him. But I started Storm of Swords. Sorry, there's a bumblebee, like, right outside my door, and it's very distracting. Um, but I started Storm of Swords. I've literally not even made it through the prologue yet because I want to make sure I know who these people are because there's so many characters in Game of Thrones that I want to make sure I keep everybody straight because the last time I read a Game of Thrones book, I think was like 2016 so and it's probably the last time I watched the show too so I just uh I just want to make sure I'm not messing anybody up so it's 4 58 in the morning right now and we thought it would be a good idea to go work out before work today. Yeah. It's, it's so early. It's so early. And I'm not showered and I feel gross <laughs> and I'm sleepy. But um, Alyssa got to sleep or she got to go camping in the camper in the yard last night with my parents so she i think she had fun i, I mean think so, yeah we watched 10 minutes of a movie and had a bottle and then she slept like she slept like this yeah um while dusty and i uh slept in the bed inside so um i forgot how clingy he is so that is something i am not used to anymore but I don't want to go work out I literally haven't read anything today because we've been so busy even though it didn't really feel that busy it was still pretty busy I haven't even made it through the prologue of a storm of swords but I'm hoping to at least get to like character chapter one tonight because the prologue's like 14 pages long so that's not very far but I mean the font is tiny not tiny but it's like it's small and it's like an 800, 900 page book and I'm not about that right now. And uh, somebody is spending the night with me again. You're not gonna look at the camera? No, okay. But he's spending the night with me because my parents are out in the yard camping with Alyssa again. And hopefully Alan will be home at some point tonight, but I guess you'll see if he's in tomorrow morning in the vlog for next week or not but this is the last update you'll get from me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week